Being innovative is what has brought Berar to the forefront of the heavy transport industry. And this project was just another example of our innovative thinking and determination to conquer the challenge at hand. The Berar team is proud to present our submission for the 2014 Specialized Carriers and Riggers Association's Moving Job of the Year. Let's take a look at the job specs. The weights on the platforms were 772 and 508 tons. The dimensions were 102 wide by 128 long and 86 wide by 102 long. The team utilized 52 axle lines of SPMTs to jack and transport the platform. Other support equipment included loading ramps, winch trucks for barge mooring, high volume water pumps, and steel plating to accommodate for the poor ground conditions. Chief Operating Officer Braden Berard gives us the rundown on this very unique project. To give you a little backstory how this project transpired, we were called by one of our customers to offload this platform. During the offloading phase, we were asked a last minute request to elevate the platform a little over 10 feet. We accomplished this using SPMTs and climbing jacks. But as you know in the oil field industry, things change very quickly and this project came to a screeching halt. Fast forward two years, we're accomplishing this feat for another customer. The customer this time needs us to actually jack it down, load out, and marine transport it to South Texas. Normally, a typical job like this would utilize two files of SPMTs. In this case, it would be two 14 lines. You would use them to drive and level and steer and maneuver the cargo in, into your desired location. This unique situation had SPMTs on top of SPMTs. And the reason it is the stroke and the great, great ground bearing capacity these SPMTs can, can actually produce. Utilizing jacks wasn't a good choice because the ground conditions could not handle it and it was a last minute request that we didn't have time to actually fix this. SPMTs used 27 inches of stroke per trailer and which got us down to 54 inches. In saying that, we used an elevated ramp system that we engineered and drove off of got to the deck barge, maneuvered four 90 degree turns, and carouseled on site. The deck barge was approximately four feet above grade, which actually allowed us to use the platform of the SBMT to reach this four foot height. The top SBMT actually drove off of the bottom SBMT onto the deck barge. This was all done and followed by Bayard's engineered loadout ballast plant. We lowered it down, tied down the cargo, marine transported to South Texas, offloaded it to the new customer's facility, all within time constraints and budget. Most importantly, done 100% safe. This particular project was slightly different from uh, most of our projects due to the uh, jacking configuration that was used. Uh, we had to pay particular attention to working at elevated heights and ensuring that our guys were wearing the proper fall protection uh, at, the, at those times. We also dealt with many external factors such as inclement weather. Uh, the transport through the yard was pretty straightforward. We had our guys positioned on each corner of the load to ensure that uh, there were no obstacles in the travel path. Uh, once we got to the barge or the bulkhead, uh, we had to make sure that our guys fully understood their roles and responsibilities uh, to ensure a safe roll on onto the barge. The project is unique in that the SPMTs are in a stack configuration. The project had several technical challenges. We had to ensure adequate height of the grillage, barge ballast, and barge stability. We also had to check weight capacities on both files of the trailers and SPMT stability during lowering and loadout. 